Hey everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we're going to talk about RAM Plus, or also known as VRAM or Virtual RAM. Now RAM Plus is a way that you're able to take your physical internal storage and use it as virtual memory or virtual RAM. Now the reason why I have mine turned off is for a couple reasons. But first let's just talk about what exactly RAM is. So it's random access memory, it helps your processor tackle multiple multiple tasks at once. It's basically storing temporary files or temporary data as you're doing certain tasks on your phone or computer. You know, it also kind of determines your system's performance as well and the speed. So now back to the core portion of today's video, which is why I turned mine off. And if you want to, you can turn yours off as well. The reason why I turn it off is because this is the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I already have 12 gigs of the physical RAM, uh, which is always better than a virtual RAM, especially in this case here, because even though VRAM is pretty quick, it does a really good job at what it's doing. The fact is, is that it doesn't really help when it comes down to the phone because it really only helps with multitasking. Now, I do a lot of multitasking on my phone, but not enough to bring in more gigs than 12. And it definitely does not help with any gaming whatsoever. But the reason why the main one is because with the read and write life cycle, or lifespan of your normal flash drive or flash storage of internal storage, what you're doing is when you are gatekeeping and kind of bringing out six or eight gigs to do that with, now these six or eight gigs that you're, you're kind of dedicating from your flash storage, you're using it for temporary data files. So you're basically going in and going out, you're doing a constant read and write so you're basically taking down the lifespan of the flash storage that's actually inside of your phone and it's not really made to be used for that type of stuff. You know, when you think about it, going back over into my normal storage of the phone, there is all of this stuff that is doing nothing. Now, if I was to take eight or six gigs of this right here and I use it for constant temporary data files going in and out, read and write, read and write every single day, all day, uh, it's going to wear and tear on it. And I would rather just keep my normal RAM, the physical RAM, which this is made, you know, for this type of work. Uh, I'd rather keep my RAM doing RAM things, my internal storage doing internal things. Uh, you're not going to see a massive difference, even though when I did turn off my, my RAM plus, because originally when you first get it, this is actually turned on. One of the things I noticed is that my phone actually kind of worked in ways that it didn't work from before. So sometimes when I would take out my S pen, I'd actually be able to see it on my widget. And that's just because the RAM is doing its job. The virtual RAM for some reason wasn't picking this up. Now that is kind of nitpicky. It's only one small things or one small thing. But again, at the end of the day, I would rather have my internal storage not being used as a constant read and write scenario. Leave that up to the RAM's job. So that is why when you go inside of your settings and then you go inside of battery and device care, make sure you take a look at your memory and actually turn off RAM plus out of the box. But again, that's up to you. And this is my reasonings for mine being off. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. If you want, give this thing a big thumbs up if it's helped you out. Also hit on subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.